Hello, my name is Dr. Luis Alzate Duque. I'm an internal medicine doctor at Rutgers, New Jersey Medical School, and I'll talk to you briefly about colon cancer. The colon is a tube-like structure, and its job is to absorb water and salt from the food that we eat. Colorectal cancer starts in the colon or the rectum when cells or the building blocks of these organs start to grow out of control. Most start as uh, growth in the inner lining of the colon or rectum, um, and these growths are called polyps. Uh, these can change into cancer over time. Things that increase the chance of developing colorectal cancer include not being physically active, eating unhealthy diets, smoking, uh, and uh, factors that we cannot change are your age, family history, and a personal history of cancer, uh, as well as having diseases of inflammation in the bowel. Colorectal cancer affects men and women of all racial and ethnic groups and is most often found in people who are 45 years old or older. It's the second most common cause of deaths due to cancer in men and women combined. Despite this, only one in three people in the United States who should get tested for colorectal cancer have not been tested. Let's take this information and feel empowered to make a change. Regular colorectal cancer screening or testing is one of the most powerful tools and can even prevent colorectal cancer. Think about this. From the time the first abnormal cell starts to grow into a polyp, it usually takes about 10 to 15 years for them to develop into colorectal cancer. With regular screenings, most polyps can be found and removed before they have the chance to turn into cancer. If you're age 45 or older, you should have regular screenings for colon cancer. Several types of tests can be used. Speak to your doctor about which option might be best for you. Prevention is the best form of cure. My name is Michelle Jansen from Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey. And when it comes to promoting your colorectal health, eating fiber is key. Fiber can be found in a wide variety of whole grain products like whole grain bread, quinoa, oatmeal, and brown rice. We encourage you to make at least half of your grains whole because whole grains have more fiber than processed or refined grains do. They also provide us with important minerals and vitamins like iron, selenium, vitamin B, as well as potassium. Fruits and vegetables are also great sources of fiber. In addition to supplying us with valuable vitamins and minerals, they also provide us with something called a phytochemical. Phytochemical is just a fancy word for plant chemical. And these phytochemicals give our fruits and vegetables their unique color and taste profile. You may be familiar with a phytochemical called beta carotene, which gives carrots their brilliant orange color. One carrot has more than 100 different phytochemicals that work to promote our health. Beans also pack in a lot of fiber along with a B vitamin called folate. Getting enough folate in your diet can help protect you against colon cancer. All of this fiber feeds the good bacteria in your gut, which can prevent cancer cells from multiplying, dividing, and growing. Current recommendations are to consume 25 to 30 grams of fiber per day. We're going to turn now to Shona Alvarez, program manager here at America's Grow Row, who is going to show you an easy way to add more fiber into your diet with this awesome recipe. Hi, I'm Shauna Alvarez, chef and nutrition educator here at America's Grow a Row. When you're considering ways to add more fiber to your diet, look to fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Today we're going to be making a hearty fall salad that features all three fiber-packed food groups. We're loving fall here at America's Grow a Row. Our staff and volunteers have been busy in our orchards harvesting a wide variety of apples to distribute to our community partners. Today's salad will feature some of that delicious fruit alongside spinach, celery, dried cranberries, and pumpkin seeds. We're going to start by adding our whole grain. Today I'm using farro. I love using farro because it's chewy, nutty, and delicious hot or cold. You can substitute quinoa or whole grain pasta if you prefer. Cook the grain of your choice according to the package directions. Next, simply add all of the ingredients to the bowl. First the farro, and the spinach. The pumpkin seeds and celery will give the salad great crunch. And then finally, the apples and the dried cranberries. 
gonna dress the salad with a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Three tablespoons of olive oil. And season it with salt and pepper. And we're gonna mix it all up. Feel free to switch it up. In the summer, tomatoes and cucumbers and feta with quinoa would be great. In the winter, roasted butternut squash, spinach, and walnuts would be delicious combination. The possibilities are endless.